Hello friends good morning and welcome to Jigs by Star student zila how are you all i hope you all must be doing well friends without wasting much time let's start our today's session for that let me ask you are you all staying home i hope yes if not please do stay home and stay safe and enjoy the time with your family this is very precious time which you will get rarely main hu aapki dost aur host jigna let's see what i have in for you today so today we shall discuss few mcqs on chapter 2 sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 10 I have already published nine parts, so today I'm going to release tenth part. So let's see now. Before starting, let me remind you: if you like my video, don't forget to like and share my video. And if you are new to my channel, click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel to be the first one to get notified when my new video is out. So let's move to the first question of today. First question: The number of ovules in an ovary is one in dash. A. Wheat. B. Paddy. C. Mango. D all the above. Here the correct answer is D all the above. Yes, friends, wheat, paddy, and mango. All these three are an example of single ovule containing ovary. Let's move to the next question. Before that, let's see the structure. Here, the example of paddy and wheat is shown in this diagram, which shows that its ovary contains single ovule. Second, the number of ovule in an ovary is many in dash. A. Papaya. B. Watermelon. C orchids and D all of this the correct option is D all of this yes friends just as paddy wheat and mango were the example of single ovule containing ovary papaya watermelon and orchids are the examples of multi ovule containing ovary so Let's move now to the next. The third question says the ovule is a small structure attached to the placenta by means of a stalk called dash. A hilum B. Funicle. C. Ovary. And D. All of this. The correct option is B. Funicle. Yes. The ovule is attached to placenta by means of a stalk, which is called funicle. Next the body of the ovules fuses with funicle in the region called dash A funicle B hilum C nucellus and D integuments the correct option is B hilum 
The body of ovules fuses with funicle in the region called hilum. Here, let's see the structure of ovule. Here, all the parts of the ovule are labeled hilum, funicle, micropyle, micropylar pole, outer and inner integument, mucellus, embryosac, and chalazal pole. So, now let's move to the next question. Here, dash represents the junction between ovule and funicle. Options are A. Funicle B. Hilum C. Nucellus and D. Integuments and the correct option is B. Helum. Yes, helum is a junction between ovule and funicle. So now, it's time to answer the previous question. And what was the previous question? I hope you remember. If not, let me remind you. The question was, what is located inside ovary? And here, the answer is ovarian cavity. Let's see here. Yes, now next, today's question is, not it down here. What do we call to the protective layer around each ovule? The protective layer around each ovule is called what? Answer me in the comment section below. And do like and share my videos with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. And join me in my beautiful journey called Jex by Star Student Zilla. Thank you so much for watching my video till the end. Thank you.